Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is 2 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of b plus 2 to the power of c. This is equal to 328. So, to solve this, we have that a, b, and c, these are members of natural numbers. And that a is less than b, and b is less than c. So let's prevent the solution from here. Let's prevent the solution from here. We have to solve for A, B, and C. So what are the values of A, B, and C? And given that A is less than B, and this is less than C. Now, we have 2 to the power of A, plus 2 to the power of B, plus 2 to the power of C. This is equal to 3. 28. The first step here, we have to factor out 2 to the power of a, so that now, here we have 2 to the power of a, divide everything by this 2 to the power of a, plus 2 to the power of b, divide by 2 to the power of a, this is actually the smallest. Remember a is less than b, this is less than c. So then divide 2 to the power of b, divided by 2 to the power of a, then plus 2 to the power of c divided by 2 to the power of a. This is equal to 328. The next step here is to simplify here. We have 2 to the power of a simplified, so this is 1. So we have 2 to the power of a into the parentheses. This is 1 plus 2 to the power of b divided by 2 to the power of a. Then plus 2 to the power of c divided by 2 to the power of a, close the bracket a, this is equal to 328. Now, to do the comparison here, we have that the first part here, 2 to the power of a, this is actually an even number, and 1 plus 2 to the power of b over 2 to the, 2 to the power of a, plus 2 to the power of c over 2 to the power of a, this part is, this is odd number, and this is equal to 328, of which you can express 328 as 8 times 41. Substituting this from here, we have 2 to the power of A into the parentheses, 1 plus 2 to the power of B over 2 to the power of A plus 2 to the power of C over 2 to the power of A. This is equal to 8 times 41. So we can do some comparison here. This particular part is even. And we have that 8 is also even. We have that 1 plus 2 to the power of b over this particular part is odd. And 41 is also odd. Now from here, let's compare even. And that is even on the left hand side and even on the right hand side. So we have 2 to the power of a, this is equal to this is equal to 8. And we have that 1 plus 2 to the power of b over 2 to the power of a, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of b minus a, then plus 2 to the power of c minus a, this is equal to 41. Now from this part here, this is 2 to the power of a. This is equal to 8. We can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3. And given that the bases are common here, that is a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m. Since the bases are common, the exponent n is equal to m. So essentially, from here, we have that a is equal to 3. So we have the value of a as 3. Now, from this part here, we have 1 plus 2 to the power of b minus a, remember a is equal to 3, then plus 2 to the power of c minus a, which is 3, this is equal to 41. The next step is, the next step here, let's take 1 on the right hand side, so that here we have 2 to the power of b minus 3, plus 2 to the power of c minus 3, this is equal to 41 minus 1. 
So if you have 2 to the power of b minus 3 plus 2 to the power of c minus 3, this is equal to 40. So this is actually the same thing as 2 to the power of b over 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of c divided by 2 to the power of 3. This is equal to 40. Now the next step from here, we have 2 to the power of b over 2 to the power of 3. This is 8, then plus 2 to the power of c divided by 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. This is equal to 40. We can express 40 as 8 times 5. So this implies that we have 2 to the power of b plus 2 to the power of c divided by 8. This is equal to 40, which is 8 times 5. So let's multiply both signs by 8 so that here we have 8. So that now here we have 2 to the power of b plus 2 to the power of c. This is equal to 8 times 8. This is 8 raised to the power 1. And this is 8 raised to the power 1. So this is the same thing as 8 to the power 2 times 5. The next step from here, we have that b. Remember b is less than c. So this implies that we can factor out 2 to the power of b. So that now, we here we have 2 to the power of b divided by 2 to the power of b, then plus 2 to the power of c divided by 2 to the power of b, close the bracket, this is equal to 8 to the power of 2 times 5. So let's simplify here, 2 to the power of b simplifies, so we have 1, so that we have 2 to the power of b into the parentheses, 1 plus 2 to the power of c over 2 to the power of b, this is equal to 8 to the power 2 times 5. Again, from here, we can do some comparison. The first part here is even. On the right-hand side here, the first part is also even. The second part from the left-hand side, this is odd. This is actually odd. And we have that 5 is also odd. Okay? So we have 2 to the power of b. This is equal to 8 to the power 2. The next part here, we have 1 plus 2 to the power of c over 2 to the power of b. This is equal to 5. So we can express 8. We can express 8 from here as 2 to the power 3. So we have 2 to the power b. This is equal to 2 to the power 3 raised to the power 2. And 2 to the power 3 raised to the power 2. This is in the form of a to the power n raised to the power m which we can express as a to the power of n times m. Let's apply this exponent property so that we have 2 to the power of b. This is equal to 2 to the power of 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. And since the pieces are common here, that is a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m. Since the pieces are common, exponent n is equal to m. So this implies that b is equal to 6 b is equal to 6. Now, since we have the value of b, we can solve for the value of c. So here, you can see we have 1 plus 2 to the power of c divided by 2 to the power of b. This is equal to 5. So let's take 1 on the right hand side. So that here we have 2 to the power c over 2 to the power b. This is equal to 5 minus 1. So we have 2 to the power c over 2 to the power b. Those b is equal to 6. So this is 2 to the power 6. Then this is equal to 5 minus 1, which is equal to 4. So we have 2 to the power c. This is equal to 4 times 2 to the power 6. We can express 4 as... 2 to the power 2. So this means that now from here we can express 4 as 2 to the power 2. So this implies here we have 2 to the power c. This is equal to 
2 to the power 2 times 2 to the power 6. The next step is that 2 to the power 2 times 2 to the power 6, this is in the form of a to the power n times a to the power m, which you can express as a to the power n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 2 to the power of c, this is equal to 2 to the power 2 plus 6. And this implies that 2 to the power c, this is equal to 2 to the power 8. 2 plus 6, this is 8. And again, since the bases are common here, this implies that c is equal to 8. So from here, we have that the value of a is equal to 3. We have the value of b is equal to 6. And we have that the value of c is equal to 8. So the next step is to verify. So let's verify that a, b, and c satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall from here, we have that 2 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of b plus 2 to the power of c. This is supposed to give us a value of 3. 28. So this implies that 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 6 then plus 2 to the power of 8 this is supposed to give us a value of 3 28. So 2 to the power of 3 this is 8 then plus 2 to the power of 6 this is actually equal to 64 then plus 2 to the power 8, this is 256. This is supposed to give us a value of 328. So from here, we have 64 plus 8, and this is equal to 72 plus 256. This is supposed to give us a value of 328. So we have 256 plus 72 from here so that 6 plus 2 this is 8 5 plus 7 this is 12 so 2 carry 1 here 2 plus 1 this is 3 and this implies that we have 328 which is equal to 328 and this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this implies that the value of a, b, and c satisfies the equation. So kind of follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.